talk. May I help you, officer? I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Ah, oh, then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? A key card issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No. Mr. Page always stays late, and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. Things to throw away. I regularly clean my workspace. I don't like to be distracted by anything. You have no new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Organ selling and other ideas for making money? The books were bought for show. Visitors don't look too closely, and making an impression is all that matters. Mr. Page's words. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh God, could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. The long-awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military support...
Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Cusack's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh. Too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? We found evidence that you may have been at the crime scene. <laughs> what a surprise. Evidence found by OCP, perhaps? Did you or did you not meet yesterday? I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. I always wondered if there was a man hiding under that shiny armor. Is this a gift from Mr. Page? He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. So? Am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Negative. First, I would need to charge you. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often. Too often for business meetings. 
<laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills' campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills' campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago? <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neal here. We have a problem locating her, but I can assure you she didn't leave the office. You'll see what I mean when you get here. On my way. Keep Ms. Crane there and be careful. She is our prime suspect. Understood. <laughs> 